Hello everyone, this is Amar Kira. Welcome to the fourth part of my Live 2D and Facebook tutorial series. Please don't forget to read the description for links to resources and timestamps of this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to me. Let's start! For this video, I will be showing you how to make breathing a tear physics. It's going to be a shorter video compared to my last ones since the processes aren't very complicated. Let's open up Live2D now. So let's start with breathing first since it's easier compared to setting hair physics. Live2D has a default breathing parameter which is found here. And we are going to use that. So select the objects and set keyforms for the breathing parameter. The objects that I've selected for the breathing parameter are the following. The breathing deformer and the breast deform. For the breathing deformer, I just moved these two points up. And for the breast deform, basically just try to expand both sides to make it look like my model is inhaling air. And for the body, I just try to make some minor adjustments so everything would look well put together. After modifying everything, make sure to check the breathing parameter along with the head XYZ parameters since some objects might not be aligned properly. Let's do that now. Right now, I'm just making sure that everything is aligned. I'm going to be most careful of the corners. Once everything looks fine, we are done with the breathing parameter. And before we get into the juicy part of setting physics for the hair, we need to establish the parameters we are going to use first. Make sure that you have a hair Z deformer. Let's look for that. Okay. 
So the hair Z deformer needs to be under the XY deformer. When you have a lot of hair groups, you can just create a parameter for that hair and modify your hair Z deformer on that parameter. And by the way, this hair physics process isn't just limited to hair, you can also use it with your model's accessories. Now, select your model's hair Z deformer, and we've selected front hair, and set keyforms for the appropriate parameter by pressing this button right here. Basically, these hair parameters will just display the swaying of the hair. Unlike breathing, you will need three key forms for the hair parameters. Let's reset the head. Just select your deformer and modify the hair by making it go to the side a little bit. Just like this. And for the other hair, I'll show you what it looks like. The back hair looks like this. And there you have it. Now, let's actually set the physical operation of the hair. We open the physics menu by clicking modeling and then selecting open physics slash scene blending settings and there let's delete this one first <laughs> so i can create a new one for you We create a group first by clicking add and I'll be renaming my group as back hair with the input preset as the head input and the physics model preset as hair long. Okay? If this shows up different to you, just follow these ones. For the output settings, we will be adding our hair swaying parameter, which is hair move back. Select OK. You can play around the physics model settings to see which movement looks good for you. Just to explain the stuff here, duration, this one, is the length of the pendulum. You can also add additional pendulums if you want to. And here, increasing shaking influence will result in a bigger swing or sway of the pendulum. Reaction time is how quickly your model will respond. And then the overall acceleration dictates the overall speed of shaking. You can select this button right here to see how your model moves. You can also zoom in by scrolling up and down. Let's try adding another pendulum. And I think that looks pretty okay to me. If you are satisfied, you can go close up and you're done. That is it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and comments, don't hesitate to comment down below. The next video will cover importing your model into FaceRig and some FaceRig setup. If you like the content I'm making, Please consider subscribing to my channel and be a part of the Peach Pies. <laughs>
I'd also like to thank everyone who has supported me so far so I could get a new laptop. Um, I recently reached my donation goal and I really really look forward to streaming more quality content for you guys. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you next time. So see ya! Kira!